Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins is literally any other hero in Training Origins story with one slight twist. They could not have picked a more unique, mysterious, and cool character, but the way they handled this film was so annoyingly cliche. I mean, if this were any other origin story, I'd probably be able to forgive it because of its cool action and somewhat entertaining interactions between characters, albeit cheesy interactions, but still entertaining at times. But no, Snake Eyes is a goldmine of filmmaking opportunity, and they didn't dig in at at all so I have a hard time forgiving this movie. Scratch that, I pretty much can't forgive this movie. Except for Samara Weaving's performance as Scarlet. I know nothing about the character Scarlet, but Samara had this really hilarious and naturally cool attitude that pretty much kept me from completely disconnecting towards the end of this movie. As far as Henry Golding goes, I guess he tried, but I think he tried a little too hard at times, which left me unimpressed with his supposed to be cool scenes. Overall, Snake Eyes was extremely and unfortunately disappointing. From the copy and paste script to the underwhelming performances, the neat moments of action here and there are not enough to sway me into a positive opinion of this film. Speaking of action, I would have liked it a lot better if they didn't go all Jason Bourne and have the shakiest of shaky cam, shots so close you don't even know who you're looking at, and about 50 cuts in a single second. Lastly, I was waiting for a somewhat decent reason as to why they didn't include this character trait, but turns out there was no good reason why they didn't have Snake stay silent. Just saying, a main character that never talks would have been amazing with the right team. But then again, I guess they would have actually had to hire said team. This is your destiny. I wanna do that.